Derek Wilburn. As you, as you appro approach the mic, I want to just uh, make a comment to our audience. When, when you agree with the speaker and you stand up, you are showing the board a, a consensus, I guess, that you agree with that particular speaker. So again, I encourage you, if you agree, stay, stay by your seat, but stand up. Okay, that way we can see that. Thank you. Sir, please go ahead. Good evening, board. <laughs> I'd like to begin my comments tonight by reading a quote, which in essence is the genesis of all of this Black Lives Matter, social justice, CRT conversations we're having in our country today. Quote, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color, close quote. Colin Kaepernick, August 2016. I am the direct descendant of the North American slave trade. Both my parents are black, all four of my grandparents are black, all eight of my great-grandparents, all 16 of my great-greats. On my mother's side, my ancestors were enslaved in Alabama. On my father's side, we were enslaved in Texas. I am not oppressed. I'm not oppressed and I'm not a victim. I'm neither oppressed nor a victim. I travel all across this country of ours and I check into hotels and I fly commercially and I walk into retail establishments and I order food in restaurants. I go wherever I want, whenever I want. I am treated with kindness, dignity and respect literally from coast to coast. I have three children. They are not oppressed either, although they are victims. I've taught my children they are victims of three things, their own ignorance, their own laziness, and their own poor decision making. That is all. My children, we are not victims of America. We are not victims of some unseen 190 year old force that kind of floats around in the ether. Putting critical race theory into our classrooms is taking our nation in the wrong direction. Racism in America would by and large be dead today if it were not for certain people and institutions keeping it on life support. And sadly, sadly, very sadly, one of those institutions is the American education system. I can think of nothing more damaging to a society than to tell a baby born today that she has grievances against another baby born today simply because of what their ancestors may have done two centuries ago. There is simply no point in doing that to our children. And putting critical race theory into our classrooms in part does that. Putting critical race theory into our classrooms is not combating racism, it's fanning the flames of what little embers are left. I encourage you to support this resolution. Let racism die the death it deserves, and let's keep living the life of the country that we are. Thank you.